Well, I was an uh, engineer, an aerospace engineer working for a contractor and NASA was our customer. So I uh, was spending a lot of time at NASA working with their engineers and uh, got to know not only some engineers, but some astronauts and uh, found out that or I discovered as, uh, when talking with the astronauts, it's just a job and uh, they were just very fortunate to get a great job. And so when I heard that they were accepting applications to be astronauts, I, with thousands of other people, sent my application in to NASA to uh, apply for that job. And, and I just got very fortunate and uh, was selected. Well, uh, I always liked space. I always liked things going fast and things going high. That was always exciting to me. Uh, and then when I got into engineering, uh, I like to design things. And so uh, working in the space industry, building things for the space industry was sort of a natural fit to me. But uh, to be honest, there were many other things that I was interested in. And uh, there were several job offers I had coming out of college. And the clincher for me uh, going into the space industry was that the company that I got an offer from was one mile from the beach in Los Angeles. And the allure of the warm weather and the beach lifestyle uh, was a big draw to me. So honestly, I picked the job in aerospace primarily for the lifestyle. And uh, it's, it's all worked out for me since then. Yeah, my job as an astronaut was incredibly interesting. Not only is it do you, not only is it all the cool stuff, right? You get to learn how the shuttle works and how the station works, uh, but you also get the opportunity to do the really cool stuff. We we fly jets. We uh, get to get in a spacesuit and get in a giant swimming t swimming pool and practice weightless working in uh, doing spacewalks. Uh, we get to r ride simulators that simulate the the ride of the shuttle. So. It's really enjoyable. It's, it, it, it was a great job to have. Uh, well, g being given the opportunity to go live on the space station was uh, incredibly rewarding. And, and uh, there was a big investment. I, my, I trained for almost five years to, to, live, uh, to go live on the space station. And so there was uh, quite a bit of uh, overhead getting ready to go. But uh, getting the opportunity to go to the space station and live there, which is different than visiting there on the, on the space shuttle. When you're there on the shuttle, you're there for a couple weeks. Every day is busy. Every 15 minutes is scheduled. When you go to the space station, you're a resident there. And so you have a work schedule, of course, but then you have a day off over the weekend. And so you have uh, free time to just go to the window and and look around or, or uh, listen to music and, and, and talk to your friends. And so that was really uh, a, a cool aspect of, of my career is I get to live in space, not just visit it. Well, I think uh, I, think I, was, I have been technically minded. It's uh, understanding how machines work is a second nature to me. Uh, but I think the probably less tangible or less obvious skill set is the ability to talk to people and get along with people. When we live on the space station, we're in a cramped uh, quarters for months at a time with just a few people of different nationalities, usually, and, and different genders, just different people. And, and uh, somehow uh, I was raised to get along with people well and communicate with people well. And when we hire astronauts now, we really uh, look for those skill sets. Well, the space industry is huge. There are many, many jobs, and the, the, there are some high-profile ones like being an astronaut or, uh, or running a control room. And those are obviously great jobs to have. But to work in the space industry, you can be a doctor, you can be a, an architect, you could be a, draw, a, a, a designer or an artist. You can do many, many things to can contribute to the space program. So uh, I think one of the things we'd like to do uh, in, in this um, uh, summer of space is open people's eyes to the ways that they can contribute to the space program and not not they may not have the obvious skill set but uh, maybe they're a lawyer and maybe there's space law that that uh, needs to get developed or artists or poets that can bring the experience to a wider uh, variety of people so I would encourage people to think that maybe they, the skill set they have is applicable to the space program and and figure out how to how to make that fit It's really cool. Black Rock Castle is just a spectacular uh, setting and they do great work there. And so uh, my association with, with Black Rock Castle 
up until now has been fantastic and and now to be the patron is is uh, quite an honor for me so I, I, it it's uh it's very very cool